what is up guys how's it going welcome back in the series we are covering the training drills that will turn your players into the mutants throughout the season or you can also spam those drills what i mean by turning your players into mutants throughout the season is that only training the white skills of your players throughout the season and also gaining some bonuses from training those drills in order to improve only the white skills of your players so let's say for and a pure amc we only want to be training heading passing dribbling shooting finishing fitness speed and creativity and none of the great skills so if you come on daily and you uh whilst you prepare your players for an upcoming match and you train only these skills to your players then obviously throughout the end of the season these white skills are going to be higher than the Great skills, and after the end of the season, when twenty percent of the skills are uh, sort of deducted from the player, your white skills are gonna keep going up, and great skills are gonna keep going down, and eventually you will have a mutant. So let's get right into the training. In this video, we will be covering the training drills for an AMC. So let's get right into it and select all of the AMCs that we have in the team, and then we will start with the video. So those are all of the AMCs that we have in the uh, team and as for the drills what we are going to be using is we are going to be using ball control first and we are going to be using it twice because we want to be increasing the heading of the player and this drill we are basically mainly using in order to improve the heading of the player. The next drill that we are going to be using is going to be pass go and shoot and it is for basically for improving the shooting and speed and passing of the player next up we are going to be using wing play now wing play is something that you will have to decide on and i will let you know how you can decide on this one but this drill is going to be optional after wing play we are going to be using slalom dribble and after that we will be using sprint sprint in order to improve the fitness and speed and dribbling of the player and slalom dribble also to improve the fitness speed dribbling and passing as well now wing play is something that is um optional over here and it will also be improving the crossing of your player so it's up to you if you're if you do not want to be training the crossing of your player at any cost then you will have to cancel out this drill but over here i'm going to be using it because now uh, it will be training the finishing heading and shooting and without this drill uh, there is almost no way of training the finishing to an amc without um also improving on the gray skills because if i train finishing with one-on-one -on -one finishing then i'm going to be improving tackling but i suppose that rather than improving tackling on an amc it is better to improve uh, crossing on the amc because eventually if i try to turn them into an aml then obviously uh, crossing will come in handy otherwise uh, you can use shooting technique for the player to improve the finishing of the player but in this case i can either use shooting technique or wing play but i am choosing wing play because as far as the train to train the player that i'm looking forward to his strength is already at 45 whilst his crossing is at 32 so i want to be training this gray skill that is lower in order to um, sort of equal the skills uh, until seasonal changes make them into mutants so let's say if uh, the strength is 45 and crossing is 32 and i'm able to get the crossing to 45 by the end of the season then it will only take me as many seasons as uh, to decrease the strength of the player uh, in order to convert him into the mutant 